Yeah. What's going on today? We're going over a little Zelda tune called Farewell Hyrule King. And this one is straight out of Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. So if you like Shred and you like medieval fantasy metal, this is probably the tune for you. Basically, I'm going to be walking you through my process, transcribing this one, transcribing both parts, putting them into a document so you'll be able to see the tabs, which I know everyone's stoked on. Um, yeah, let's just crush into it, you know? It's gonna take me a little bit of time to go through the parts that I wanna get. The thing is, I'm gonna do this anyway, so might as well score a sweet little video out of it, as well as help you out if there's someone who also wants to learn this. I like this little piano thing. I loosely play piano, meaning like I know that that's an A, and that's really all I need, right? And then, um, what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, if you're if you're enjoying this, please uh, leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. I'm trying to beef up my YouTube, so uh, the more the more you help me out, the more I'm going to help you out. And but if, when I say that, I'm not bullshitting because if you have questions or something, you want to hit me up here or on Instagram, I'd be happy to help you out. If you can confirm that you have subscribed. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's skip the intro that uh, that's slow playing, which is just not for me, you know? I only care about the fast stuff that's happening. And obviously uh, that includes uh, arpeggios as well. So this is pretty much the moment I've been waiting for. Blank screen of suspense. Alright, so we got a couple different arpeggios, which is cool. The first one sounds like. I don't know, it sounded like, a, like an A minor to E change. Maybe not totally. That's where my ear goes. Let's check it out. Ooh, we go diminished. So it's, it's uh, actually in G minor, but it is the arpeggio shape I originally thought. You know, it just has a little ego puff. So what was that? That was uh, G, A, A sharp, C sharp. What did I say? G, A, A sharp, and then C sharp. That makes sense. This is the dimensional. one. Maybe it's not. <laughs> So now that it's starting on C sharp. D sharp. Okay, 
so that's not bad. That's three arpeggios. We're going um It's a G minor basically. You could see it as a D7, D sharp 7. I wouldn't. It's an A diminished, right? So, so we're going. How do we play a diminished chord? Yeah, like that. So we got. And then there's one more diminished chord, it's D sharp. Yeah. So that's our. Uh, those are our chords. And sometimes I like to, when I'm learning something, especially something I dig, it's ni nice, <laughs> neat. It's cool to look through and see like, okay, how is this being played? Yeah, and that happens a bunch of times, right? Da 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 and then, yeah, let's say it's four times, right? So then we go it's almost the same thing. We just flat that five. Flat that five, dog. Da, 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 da. And then, and then <laughs> we go. And I kind of like the melody was way easier to pick up because, um, you know, if you can sing a melody, you can pretty much play it if you play guitar for long enough. I was, <laughs> I was kind of nervous to, to fuck up there. But yeah, if, if it's in your head, you can pretty much play it. So I think it would be cool now to uh, prove that. I want to say this is happens twice just because you know math all right let's try it one two three go <laughs> Just a little bit, so maybe you can hear the melody happening. One, two, three, up. Oh. One, two, three, go. So this chord changes. I'm thinking. Let's let's go back and see what's happening, or maybe it's in a could also very well be in a different time signature. So I'll switch windows here. Oh, by the way, like uh, I might just get copywritten for this, but let's just plug uh, an uninspected piano, you know. So that guy probably needs to subscribe too, right? You know, as long as we're subscribing to people. Be cool to subscribe to him as well. Alright. Um, and yeah, let's check it out. An unexpected piano is the name of this profile. Look, he's recommending to give it a like right now. Ah, 
Yeah, so what happened was like halfway through that measure, I think, he switched back to the G1. So uh, let's see how I did it like with multiple laps. Yeah, that's what happened. Okay. All right, so let's just go back and change that. Why not? At least I think. Yeah. Just putting this here. Boom, boom. Okay, so now we have one, two, three, go. <laughs> Ah, you know what? It switches earlier. Come on. Come on. It's like that. One more time. One, two, three. I gotta figure out that, that melody because it uh, eludes me at this moment. All right, so let's continue on to our flashy piano thing. Should we get that melody while we're talking about it? should write it out but let's continue with the pedgies right now because melody is like easy work okay let's just get the pedgies because they're a little bit more difficult so i love this piece because we have melodies like first melodies in the bass and the the high is accompanied now the the accompaniment is in the bass the melody is high Dude, I might have to switch vids because um, the version I'm thinking of has way more radical pedgies. No offense, an unexpected piano, but I unexpectedly was disappointed um, because, yeah, let's let's just scope this one real quick and see if the pedgies are madder. Uh, I want my pedgies to be like extra mad when I'm listening to a piece.
Yep, these are the pedgies we were looking for. So I'm glad we made that. That was a good call on your part. You were you were right there with me. You were like listening. Like, I'm just not sure about these pedgies, my man. And I was like, dude, I think I agree with you, low key. And then we we totally joint decided like, yes, we should look for more uh, ostentatious pedgies. And thank God we did, because now we've got some real righteous pedgies on our on in the midst. Okay. Go. All right, so now we're gonna plug this guy, Synthesia Maniac. Man, I am subscribing to a lot of people today, and you know what? It's it's no big deal, right? So as as long as you see me subscribing to these people, like whatever, might as well also subscribe. Uh, to my channel, you know, like whatever. Synthesium Maniac. Okay, so yeah, check out these big old lush pedgies. Oh, this guy even has a little key that tells you, hey, by the way, dum dum, this note's an F sharp. So that's perfect for me. So, really, for me, I just kind of want to know what arpeggio he's playing, and then that makes it easier. Cause like I don't like to, I don't like to learn music with my eyes. Like uh, this isn't like a pride thing. Like it's harder for me personally. Okay, so we got to F sharp. Oh really? We're going to F sharp? No. There's no way that guy's playing a 9, are you serious? flat is that one yeah wow okay we're really getting into something here okay so we might want to start it elsewhere So, yeah, I noticed there's a part on this guy. It's like this note here. It's part of this hand. It's it's not actually part of these pedges, which makes it less confusing. I can barely hear it. Can you hear it? I feel like I'm Dora the Explorer right now. Landed on that E flat. Once you get like one pedgy under the belt, it usually makes the others a little more, more simple. Okay, so where you're going? C, G, C, E flat, G, E flat, G. And then what's that? C? Yeah.
Does this go straight from G to C? It does. Up to E flat. Follow this down to C. Might might do some tapping here, dude. Up to what's this? E flat. Either that or some position shifting. Some position shifting. <laughs> say G yeah it does all right I'm gonna play this slow I have a fingering for it but I'll tell you if it uh, if it works <laughs> Show you what I'm playing. So I'm going like this. Which you, we could probably substitute some of this for. Um, I'm so glad I realized. Like, I was like, why does this amp suddenly have no gain? Yeah, you could get some, like, Double finger tapping in there. Okay, so. Heavy, be even more heavy with less prep though, I'll tell you that. Okay, so that seems to be like a decent fingering to me. Um, I'll tab it out, and then you can understand what I'm playing too. So I'm going to go ahead and start here at the 8th fret, and then 12, what is this? Oh, let's go 8 there. back up to 15 then 20 20 20 yeah like that so yeah so the the recording it sounds like the C is way lower but uh, I'm probably not gonna tune down for this I actually do have plans to tune a uh, a guitar down to C, in which case it could be pretty legendary. Dude, I'm not totally sure about this jujitsu thing, to be honest with you. Um, my body just feels wrecked right now, and not in a good way. 
But it's such a badass sport. All right. Back to this, uh, let's go back to these Pedgies that I was happily sharing. Okay, so. Was that the same same idea? something else because this interval A to E flat G to uh, B flat. Let's get the phrase in for this one.
Cheers, dude. Okay, so I gotta fix the last one and write this one. Love that you're bearing with me. I guess you don't have a choice besides scrolling, so. You've probably already scrolled to the end of the video anyway. Like, um. But this, I said it was like 12. No, that doesn't happen. It's, uh. It's also this. Okay. But I wouldn't be surprised if like I screwed up the fingering on that one too. Okay, so for here, we're going. Right. Let's just go back and double check the first one because uh, now I'm interested to see did I do it dirty or did I? Yeah, see, that's wrong. I think they wrote it wrong. Because my ear's picking up on the same idea, but over here. So how did I tab it? I tabbed it like this. But 
damn it, it might be that. Double check. It's written wrong here, so because um, I can hear it. it, it goes down, contrary to what it previously said that it did. So, but this is how it goes. That's what I'm saying. It's like you kind of you get one pedgy, and then from there you can really kind of hone in. Like, oh, sick! This is how it should be. So when we go here, we go to eleven, and then I would just play. 13 right there. And then, yeah, I think that's good. So. Yeah. Okay. Nice work, Luke. Excellent job. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, so now let's do a little bit more. I'm going to experiment uh, in the analytics, see if you guys enjoy more. Did you hear that neck crack, dude? That's what I'm talking about, man. My body's so wrecked, man. See if you enjoy looking more so at the piano screen or, or my guitar while I you know, fumble through. Yeah, so what do you think on this? Do you think it was actually, oh. See, I know it was. I just wrote it wrong. So that's disappointing too. I'm just gonna make that little correction too. So I said it was 22, but it's 23 in that last note. Yeah. Because we're working with minor pedgies. Okay. So we're on that A right there. So this is G. And then this is the A. So I'm curious how it sounds. Just how it sounds. Sounds different. So let's just go. So this is just going around being inaccurate. That's what I'm getting at. So 
That's fucked. Because that's an A flat. So that one I might tap personally. If that is the thing, I'm kind of just like, I'm using my ear now because I got the pedgy shape. And I'm just like, fuck this because that was like totally uncool. It was inaccurate as hell. Just see how many pedges there are in total. So, yeah, there's like six, but that doesn't seem to work out mathematically, so there's probably eight. Yeah, see, that's an A flat. That pisses me off so much, huh? I don't know why exactly, but it does a lot.
Let's just look here and see if we can find the thirds here. So, I mean, it'll still be inaccurate, so it'll piss me off, but yeah. So, we're going, quote unquote. Is there an A flat there? Let's see.
Wow, that's really interesting. Well, I'm glad we took our time to like look at that one for long enough because what what's played is super cool. Changes from a G major, sorry, A flat major to a C minor. Sounds pretty beautiful. Uh, just out of context. So so far right we have C C minor to uh, a G minor to a G major to C minor, which is like it's actually uh, not too far from a little tune I wrote not too long ago. Yeah, I always love to interject myself into the conversation. That's the narcissist I am. Except as I mentioned, I did look up what a narcissist is, and it turns out I'm not one. All right. So, hence uh, sharing this video opportunity with you. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really sound all that resolved, but I guess it's just uh, 18. <laughs> Now for for what comes next, let's go. this say that it is? I'm so judging. Is there a G up here? Yeah. To the C or D? Yeah. 
This one's cool because we already did it. But I'm always excited about those diminished veggies. Yeah, it looks like this. Looks like that. That one was right. Right, so I, it was the second chord, so. It's this one again. By the way, you can hear it in the piano range, just to reiterate. Um, these are higher than they're being played on the piano. You don't have the same range, unless uh, tuning down, which again, you could go to C standard, and maybe that's something I'll do, come up with fingerings for the open position. And I am kind of adding some of the notes. They're not always there. The ba ba bo ba na. It's not always there, but I throw it in. That was the first one. Is that our first major arpeggio? That's a D right there. That's not a G. God damn it. Oh, is it doing another thing like it did? Does it end on the B flat? I'm on a G. Ah, so we're gone.
Well, this piano piece is pretty lucky that I know my pedgies. I just want to confirm before I tab it out here. Yeah, I'm playing it right. I'm just, it's higher, so it sounds kind of sharp on the ears. That's why I use this uh, neck pickup to try to help out. Okay, so. Yeah, that sounds good. Wow, this is incredible. Music making, just incredible. This machine, I mean, wow. No, I'm, I'm joking, of course. The, uh, the composer for this piece is just unstoppable. As long as the pedgies are, in fact, this gnarly in the original recording. Which I believe they are. I remember playing this game 
And if you also did, God, I was so young and I was just like, when are we going to be done with this fucking menu screen? This fucking intro. That's where he's going. Um, um, It's like it goes straight to outside island, yeah. But I think this this song plays when like Ganondorf is around. That's what I would guess. I'm not totally sure, but yeah, cool times, simpler times. <laughs> So this is the arpeggio, like, that literally made me want to learn this. Oh my god, this is fucking bullshit. That's pretty cool.
Looks like this. Pretty cool. Man, I wonder when I sat down to make this video. It's coming up on like... Man, time, dude. You don't wake up early enough and then you train your jitsu? There's not that much time left for creating bitchin' content. For your most valuable viewers, just kidding. Like, to be real, dude, I couldn't be fucked with the people on YouTube that watch this. It's like directly insulting you. Um, yeah, I put all my time and energy into my clients. All right, so. But, you know, if YouTube is to help me acquire some more clients, I'll put the energy in. It's my mission to help guitarists have better vibrato. Among the other things. Sounds so cool. It's 
Especially with the melody, it's gonna be sick. All right, we got one more, and then we're we're done here. So. All right, so yeah, let's just play through some of these. I I think I'm gonna get confused on like a couple of them, but yeah, the last one was for, it was same as the second one I did. So yeah, if you want the tab for it, which I know you do, because I coach guitar players and they always want tabs. It's this. This is the very last one. Looks like that. Boom. So we got. Something that's weird there. But that is what it said. try to play some of these slow so you can see them. Do you like how I sit slow? I think I can handle those. All right. So I hope you can too. And you know, there might be another addition for the melody, or you just might see the very end of this when I've put the two together and edited them in some cool forest. All right. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I was just lying earlier. I was just having some fun. Okay. Of course I care about you. You know, cool man. You totally like. You know. Um, got some free value out of me and didn't subscribe. That was really cool experience that we had. Yeah. Um, so that's why I'm super grateful towards you.
Just kidding. Wow. Yeah, I'm so sarcastic. This probably means I need to eat some food. Okay. Yeah, I start getting like really sarcastic if I haven't had food. So I'm going to do that, you know. And I'm going to practice these pedgies. I hope you do too. I hope you enjoyed this. And remember to like, comment, and or subscribe if you enjoyed. And talk to you very, very soon. Peace.